Hey everybody, happy new year! We're already a few days into 2021. It's January 3rd. I know this video is going up a little bit late, but if you're here watching this video now, that means you survived the craziness that was 2020. So if that's all you did last year was survive, round of applause to you because I think that's all a lot of us could do was just survive. <laughs> what can be said about 2020? I mean, we all know, we all know it was, it was just bad, right? Beginning of the year, January, February, we were going smooth, weren't we? I mean, I personally, I was waking up early, hitting the gym before work. I was eating healthy. I mean, everything was on point. I was really like thriving. <laughs> How much weight have you lost on keto? 30 pounds, huh? Then in comes March. COVID-19 starts showing up. Places start shutting down. We got to wear masks everywhere. People are quarantining. I mean, it was just a lot of uncertainty and fear and anxiety just going on. One thing that 2020 has made me thankful for is my job. Luckily, I was deemed essential and I was able to work throughout the whole thing. There was one time where I had a quarantine for 10 days, but luckily I was able to work from home. So um, I'm very blessed to have a job and bosses that allow me to do that and very thankful for that. Tony was dealing with some health problems throughout the year, um, but all that aside, we just kept pushing on. We kept working and we just kept doing things to keep ourselves busy, right? to July that is when my dad had a heart attack and um, ended up needing open heart surgery and a triple bypass and I mean that came out of nowhere like without warning it was just suddenly his life did a 180 and the universe forced him to slow down and he has been in and out of the hospital ever since July it's been a big adjustment for him and for my mom and um, I take time out of work when I can to take him to all of his appointments and I do stuff around his house to keep things up kept. Um, I'm by no means complaining at all because I will always drop whatever I'm doing to go help my dad. You know, he's my number one man. So 2020 also showed me how fragile life is, how instantly things can change for you. And so I'm very thankful to have my dad still here with me. And while COVID-19 canceled summer, I mean, there was no beaches, there was no concerts. Oh, I miss live music so bad. Um, but throughout it all, I was able to go camping a few weekends here and there. So I did manage to find some time to relax and have some fun with my family. Twenty twenty has made me thankful for my family. Like I said earlier, I'm very thankful that my dad is alive and somewhat well. He's still here with us, so I'll take it. Um, my mom has no health problems. I'm I'm grateful to have all three of my sisters in my life. Um, one was gone for quite some time, but she's back, and I've got an awesome brother-in-law and a niece and a nephew who crack me up, and they are just the sweetest things. I love them so much. Um, so I'm very grateful to have family. Hmm. 
Damn, I'm getting wet. Sprayed by you that one. <laughs> So for this year, I did a total of 49 videos, which is a little bit less than 2019. I did 54 back then. Um, but again, a lot of the things that I would have vlogged about were canceled. So I was like struggling to try to find some kind of content for you guys. Um, I did end up doing 10 makeup videos and in 2019, I only did four. So I'm very proud of myself for doubling the number of makeup videos. I'm trying to think of where I want to go with it next year. Um, this year I pra practiced a lot more with the body paint. Um, and I think next year I'm going to try to work in some more prosthetics. So we'll see. But I don't know. I already have a list of, of makeup looks I want to do. So maybe if I have too many, maybe I will just do them throughout the year instead of waiting for Halloween. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> As for my P.O. Box. I did renew it for one more year, so if you guys would like to send me any, any letters or anything, I'll put the address in the description box for you. And I can just say I loved getting mail from you guys and getting to know you. I got mail! I'm so excited! It's from a subscriber in Houston, Texas! I got a couple letters and I got a little package! It's mail time! I got another package! And it's not even about sending me things, because like I don't need presents. If you just want to write me a letter or, or send me a card or draw me a picture or something. Um, it just really, it really touches me and reminds me why I'm doing this because um, there are some people in my life who constantly try to make me feel like vlogging is stupid or a waste of time or, you know, doing it for the wrong reasons or something. But in all of your letters and your cards that you guys have sent me, all of you has always ended it by saying, keep vlogging, keep making more videos, can't wait to see more. So that really reinforces it um, that I'm doing something good and it's not a waste of time no matter what people think. And I'm going to keep on vlogging. For those of you that just sent me Christmas cards, I did send you a Facebook message, so check your inbox. <laughs> For 2021, I've already started working on my list of goals and my calendar of all the events. Basically what I did was I took a piece of post-it paper and I wrote down all my goals on it and I put it right on my wall, right next to my bed so that when I get up in the morning and before I go to bed at night, I'm seeing it constantly again, reinforcing my goals of what I, I want to get done and just kind of puts me in that good mindset. And then you remember how in like the middle of the year, I took out that big dry erase calendar and wrote all the stuff to kind of look forward to, to keep pulling me through dark times and through the madness. You know, it's important to have things to look forward to. So I've taken that same calendar, wiped it all off, started filling in um, different videos I want to do and just different things throughout the year to look forward to. So I hope you guys all do that too, because I think it was really, really helpful. In 2020, we all faced hardships that made us stronger. 
So if you're here watching this video with me right now, I just want to say that I'm so proud of you and how you handled this year. You fought so many battles and yet you didn't give up. We can all agree that 2020 was a heavy year. So going into 2021, make sure you guys are releasing that heaviness, letting go of anything that no longer serves you. Let go of any negative energy that you've been carrying, okay? I know we're still going to be dealing with COVID for quite some time, but at least now we kind of know how, how to handle it better and what to expect. So I'm going to try, and I want you guys to as well, to step into 2021 with some optimism and being hopeful and not letting any limiting beliefs from what you've already been through affect you. So get hyped up. Everything will be okay. The worst is behind us. 2021 will balance back out, okay? So trust yourself and follow your dreams. Trust your intuition. Listen to yourself because you know you best. And most importantly, do what makes you happy. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. I love you more than words, and I cannot wait to look forward to what 2021 has for us. So thank you so much. So let's go.